Okay. Hi, everybody. Hi. Hey, Shirley. I got to bring up my chat. Got Juna, and uh, she's trying to get her chat going. <laughs> but got Juna, and uh, she's trying to get her chat going. Oh, wait, I got to mute it. I had to mute my other one. Sorry. Oh, I don't even think mine's running. Do -do 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 -do. Yeah. I'm going to just get rid of mine. Sorry. Okay, I got rid of mine. I got the chat out. That's all I needed. Hey, Clint. So I guess I got to glue these buggers together. Because I had a brilliant idea of just folding the paper in half. You know, have two pieces out like this. Work one piece, one piece, and then fold it in half. But they're already cut, so I guess we're not going to do that. So now we got to glue them together. But I watched a few videos of uh, some pages and stuff. This one girl did a really cute book that I really liked. And like, mm -hmm. anyway, I I tipped over the. Somehow I knocked the photos, the box of photos off. So when I came in here, I, I went through the photos and check this out. That's adorable. Oh, the curly, little curly Q. Kippy doll. Hi, Tanya. Hi, Anthony. God, I can't even spell it. Can't talk. Oh, Hi, Cynthia. Hi, Tanya. Hi, Cliff. Hi, Shirley, if I didn't say hi. Hi, sweetie. So these I want actually in the front of the book. So i got to figure out how I'm going to have to make a pocket. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> I like... I can tell that's crooked. Not even following my own line. I'm not going to glue it in. I will glue it on something. But, so anyway, let's get the two together. we to have to do some glue and tape and all that kind of good puzzle. Of like that. So we'll go with this. I got more of this. Yep. So we got to save room for that. So we'll go back about this far. Okay. How is everybody doing tonight? Right on spot. Yeah, what's everybody doing on this wonderful uh, Monday? Oh, that's right. It's Monday. You see, I sometimes forget what day it is nowadays. Yeah, you know what's really weird? Saturday, which was the second Saturday of the month, the alarm went off. You know, the big siren, and it's like, what in the world is going on? Like this ain't the first Saturday of the month. Well, Shirley's eating, Cynthia's feeding. Go, Cynthia, what you making? Oops, Oops. that's way off. Let's go cut that off. Cynthia was making a bracelet. <laughs> I am made, I made a pair of earrings or a pair and a half of earrings last night <clears throat> that this one lady made on YouTube and they're really cute. And I put a white turquoise and a neon purple together with silver beads. Oh my god, it turned out cute. Do you have it? It's in the other room. Well, when you need to go get some more tea or something, pick them up. So we can see them. 
first studio is Tracy, right? Yeah. Oh, right, hi, Tracy. so. Come on in, everybody. Grab a chair, grab a seat, whichever you got to do. We're just going to attempt to do a page. And I'm going to attempt not to screw up. So we got it going now. Let's see if the glue is working. <clears throat> Getting rusty. A new pin. Cynthia, I don't know if an adult beverage would help, but maybe some Advil. Because if you had a headache, that usually can mean that you're a little dehydrated. And, and an adult beverage sometimes can dehydrate you more. Now, if you had a headache because people are aggravating you, then I suggest you have two adult beverages. That way. <laughs> <laughs> right. I mean, that way, nothing will, well, two adult beverages and not too much bothers me. I Everybody's tolerance is different, so. One would be good. Just add a little bit more of the adult in there and you'd be all right. Or unless you really want to have two. Or drink some water first. Drink a nice big gulp of water, lots of water, and then adult beverage it. Find some stuff that's got electrolytes in it, which usually everybody finds it in the baby aisle because there's more. You can get a box of little pocket things that are electrolytes, and you can put it in your water and whatever. Uh huh. And you can have it. Oh, you could have an electrolyte, a Gatorade, and uh, alcohol, so you get it both at one time too. Right. That would be nice. One fell swoop, you kill both of them. Let's do this up right. Got everything covered. Oh, <laughs> come on, really? <laughs> oh, gosh. What the heck happened here? Oh, don't give me nonsense. Okay. Why are you squishing me? Why are you no, going to Come on, I'll go. Okay. Trying to get it even on top. Yes, we did. Oh, 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 oh. No, we can't do that. Right. This there is not good. Put the darn thing right ah. There we go. Push it down. Push it down. Oh, shoot. I just got my over everything. Come on. What are we learning tonight? You ain't learning much if you've never if you never done paper. I don't know. You might could learn a lot, but I don't know. It's something we're gonna have to watch and behold ourselves. <laughs> hey, I didn't get that right. Uh, and I am trying to mod podge some trim I have around a frame. So that it looks like when it's all done, it will be painted. This is not the color it's going to be. So it looks like it's a little framed. I like doing that with my stuff. 
So I'm just gluing down ribbon on a canvas, which is not much to learn, but what I'm doing. Are you going to annoy me? You're not going to annoy me. There you go. Or maybe you will annoy me. Okay, so we want to mount this on something. We want to mount it on something. I wish I had more decorative paper. This is what I have received from Hoback. Whoa. Thank you, Christine. And it's got quite a few colors in here. Nice. Well, that does have pretty colors. Yeah, it's got some really nice tracy wants to know who the baby is huh tracy wants to know who the baby oh is. so that was my husband when he was a baby nice colors This is seven inches. The other paper is eight by eight. Where's the other book? Your computer is repeating, has a mind of its own. Ooh, so kind of spooky. Spooky. Um, yeah, maybe it don't really need to be stuck to anything. That's quite thick. Quite thick. Good, yeah, what's on there? Okay. Something tall, something tall. We could use that. That would work really good, I think. Using that. I really didn't like it anyway. Is that for background? Maybe. Shirley, for once, you're not having computer issues? Thank goodness. Poor thing. Oh, how always poor internet. Five inches, so let's do five. And half. 
five and a half. It's got to go long ways. Five and a half. Make sure it's nice and flat. Ugh, I don't know how to hold it. So this is what happens when it's live. It gets a little different. <laughs> Okay, what did I say the length of that was? Seven, seven and a half long. Are you wearing a circle of doom? Anybody else? But now it seems okay. But I'm so far not having computer issues. Sometimes refreshing page can help. Yeah, sometimes I've had to refresh them four times and it still didn't help. But most of the time, yes, it does. It's probably not in here or something. That's just not what I got. Yeah, Red Pop. Fago. Do I have a red tongue? <laughs> <laughs> yes, you do. Lovely tongue. Okay, so how much room do we have here? Just enough for the inkling. Come on. You know what? This one I should have did in black. You know, I'm going to put a black background. We don't have much room, are we? way it's cute oh, it's gonna get much a little bit more edging up there and down here and then we'll put them in the middle so I want to do Just putting the photo album together while you guys ride along. So buckle up. I'm going to get some water. I'll be right back. Okay, fine. I've never used hodgepodge, modgepodge, modgepodge. I have, eh, what do they say, it's just like watered down thick glue. I don't know.
Oh yeah, I'm much I'm much podging this on. And I'm much podging my fingers, the desk, probably the camera. So I should have taken that down here. Mm -hmm. Oh crap, I didn't want to use glue, but I guess I will. Now I'm going to be painting this, so it doesn't matter how much Mod Podge I put on it because it will be painted. And I'm not as cons I'm just looking for texture. This is my cheap way of doing texture, or easy way. I shouldn't say cheap. It's an easy way for me to do texture on things. I do this a lot with uh, ribbon or trim or fabric. Okay, so any give ideas to people to do something their own way. Now, what are you doing? You're making a canvas? Yes, ma'am. All right. I am making a canvas. And so this sort of looks to me, <clears throat> when it's painted, it's sort of like a little frame. Now, a lot of times I use the other side, you know, this side. I use that, this side on my raven and another piece I did. And by just decorating the wood that's already used as a stretcher feet, although I'll tell you what I did on the raven, using the wood that's already there, you already framed it for the individual that either for you or if you're selling it, they already have a frame. They don't have to go out of their way to get a frame, which I think is sort of nice. On the raven, ugh, on the raven, um, because he was so heavy, I had to cut the canvas off and cut down a board to fit in the back. And then I uh, I think I screwed it in in the back of the of this. Yeah. Because I could I could the weight of the raven would have pulled the canvas out of, you know, would have made the canvas very distorted. So I couldn't use that couldn't use the canvas. I could have just put the board on the outside of the canvas and stapled it in, but I didn't like that idea. So I took off the canvas and even nailed this. I think I screwed. I don't like usually to nail because nails can come out. Screws are more supportive. You know, Shirley, I think it was because, you know, when I was growing up, I mean, I'm 63, everybody, you know, I don't hide my age. When I was growing up, we didn't have hot glue. And basically the glues that we had available to us was Elmer's school glue, you know? And I even remember some really weird looking yellow liquid that my mom had because I'm old enough to remember things from before the flood. And um, so we had to learn how to like make things. Even when I was a kid and I would make decorations, I never liked to, to just glue something because I felt like it would, it, after a while, it could fall. So I was always trying to wire things and, and uh, screw things on, nail things on, and then glue it. It was really strange because I, I guess it's just the way I, you know, I grew up because I always wanted the things, even though, you know, a lot of the things I, I have since thrown out, I always wanted them to last, 
you know, like they wouldn't break. And then that's, I guess, why I don't use hot glue a lot. Like, you know, you use hot glue for a quick fix, but then to put it with something else because it doesn't, you know, it does, it's not permanent. Hot glue is not permanent. Now, I don't know about Gorilla Hot Glue, but I do know from all reports, because I don't use it, that hot glue, if you, you know, if you leave stuff in the attic when you take it down, it's all going to be in pieces. And why put so much, I mean, we all put so much time and energy into our stuff. Who wants it to break? Look at my fingers. Can you look at my fingers? Uh, large podge fingers. Okay. And besides, every time I use hot glue, and Barbara got me one of those little spatulas that you can use with hot glue, I burn myself every single time. When using the spatula? Yeah, even using a spatula. It's just it's just a thing. You know? Yeah. You have to burn yourself when you use hot glue. I guess maybe if I used it more often, I wouldn't, but I'm not really. Okay. You guys have to stick together. Go together. Okay. Because even though I cut you, you can go together. There you go. You have to come over there and stop going back. That's, I don't know what that, that is. Wherever it is. Come on, boys and girls. Everybody up to the line. All right. Yeah, Joanne, hot glue is treacherous. I don't really, I, you know, I'm not going to say I don't use it. If I need something to hold while I'm going to glue it better in a second, because, you know, there's only two hands or something, but I don't use it on a whole. That's why I stuck, I think I've stuck my fingers so much with the crate, with the super glue. Okay. Now I'm thinking about making a firm. Figuring it out. Mm -hmm. Tracy likes your t-shirt. Hi, Kathleen. Oh, let my girlfriend give it to me. Psycho bitch from now. <laughs> Shoot. I didn't even see that. <laughs> yeah, she had it in the rummage sale. And we started moving stuff around. She says, oh, here, you need this. Holy shoot. Yeah, Joanne. I, yeah. Okay, so I, I want to put this picture along with it. Christine, hi. I have no idea what year this was. Hi, oh, back. Hi, Kathleen. Come on in, everybody. Come on in. So, if... have one flip up and then that's one that could be here and that one could flip this way well hmm 
Hmm. I got a question. Hmm. Um, who's here? How many people like Martha? You got about two or three things going at the same time. I have. What do I have? One, two, three. Wait, one, two. I have three things going. Does anybody else have multiple projects going at the same time? Yeah. Who's a multi-crafter? Because I don't know. I don't use a heat gun. So this stuff, I let this stuff dry. We got to... I mean, I should use a heat gun, but I, I don't like taking that thing out unless I have to. Cynthia, yes, and it's... Kathleen, is yes, yes, and yes. And, <laughs> Cynthia, why? Could you explain why you feel that way? Yes, and including in my head. <laughs> uh, Yeah, I've gone to the point sometimes, Shirley, where I have so many ideas in my head that I just have to write them down as a list. Because otherwise, they, they, they boomerang in my head so I don't forget them and they're annoying. So I just write them down. And once I figured I write them down, they can all just be quiet because they know they're down somewhere. <clears throat> Hey, Barbara Higgins is here. Hi, Barbara. Glad you joined us. How many things do you have going? So Kathleen has a necklace, a man's bracelet, and a barrel knotted bracelet. Um, Barbara, we were just talking about having multiple crafts going at the same time if you're a multi-crafter. Cynthia, tell us all the stuff you have. Hey, once they're down on paper, Shirley, they stop bothering me. I'm just going to be more large podge off my fingers. I don't write them down because that way I'd have to follow the darn paper and do them all. It's like, nah. <laughs> well, I don't. I don't even get to all of them or do all of them. I just got to get them out of my head. <laughs> Once they're down on paper, they leave me alone. Okay. Now, how did that come out wrong? Uh, Maji Paji. That came out way wrong. Uh, that's a Maji Paji, my good scissors. Why not? Oh, Barbara's got five mini albums going now and one other project. Whoa, Barbara. Oh, yeah. She did mention that the other day. That's right. She did. Now that she said it again. She's too small. She's, she is. I was supposed to be. Nine and three quarters. Three quarters, but only go there. That's where I've I got five albums, one bracelet, and I write them down, and now I have more things. <laughs> oh gosh. Oh. God, what the hell did I do? What? What? Wait a minute, Christine. I keep cutting them all wrong. My cut your cousin's son in Florida. Got it. Say what? Huh? Christine's cousin's son in Florida got COVID. Oh no. Yep. My family, my cousin's son of Florida. I'm sorry about that, Christine. Have you sent that way? Okay, let's put this correctly this time. We've got length, which is nine, and right there. Christine, you've been hit. Your family's been hit with a lot of sorrow recently. 
I'm very sorry. I mean, I'm hoping they heal it. Whoever, you know, your, your son will be okay. It still freaking come out wrong. Cynthia has trouble no. with the covers. Listen, that measure right then. Well, Florida had one at nine and three quarters. Well, you haven't seen him since you were little. Oh, whack a dude. I mean, that they didn't get whack a dude. They uh, they had some jump today. I was watching it on the news because I wanted to see where we were. Well, I kept hearing was Florida got whacked. I'm messing up because I really don't not sure what I really want. But I'll get it. I'll get it. Okay, five and three quarters. Five and three. Right there. If it's wrong, I quit cutting paper and we go to something else. Got it. 40. Finally. Jesus. Jesus. Peace. Well, they said it wasn't an old, you know, everybody thought at first it was just old people. Oh, gosh. Whatever. Sad. Sad and scary. I hope he pulls, I hope that, I hope he pulls through without any long-term side effects because they don't know what the long-term side effects are. Seven. So that's what I hope. Quarter. Because you've had enough, you've had enough sorrow in your family, Christine, for the past couple of weeks. Yeah, so when, but at the beginning, they were saying it was only hurt, you know, really hitting the elderly and the people with underlying conditions. Well, I heard a report, and I don't know if it, you know, was reliable, but it's hitting young people now. It's going around that half the reported cases are young people. And when they say young people, they mean 20 to 40s because they were the group that wasn't getting affected. So, oh, and I even have leftover. Who knew? Okay, leftover. Now everything is sticking to my fingers. It could have been a little bit wider. It really could have. Yeah, yeah, I saw that too. Uh huh. Hey, oh. Okay. Okay. I don't know what to do. <laughs> I'm, getting, I'm, getting, I'm getting a little stuck all over the place here. Okay. Let's just get this down. Get down. Get down. Get down. Get down. It's scary for an older black woman like myself. My sister and I are stuck. What happened here? Nothing was oh. oh, shit. Yeah, Joanne. You know what? Ah, what we're gonna do right now because I can't, it's too sticky. I'm just gonna leave it like this so that it sticks in the front, okay? And then I can fix the back later. I don't have to worry about the back until later. Let's just get the front nice and pretty, and the back will be will make pretty when we get to it. 
any of this, it's going to be able to barely. Okay. Well, we're in the, the so we're the second county in all of New York. I don't know if people want to continue, you know. But we're the second county. We, how did Suffolk get that honor? And you know what's going to happen? And I, I mark my words. This is if this happens, I think I'll blow a gasket. I think I'm going to uh, people are going to unfriend me right, left, and center on Facebook, and that's fine. When school happens. And it starts going through the school. There are people, you know, the poop is going to hit the fan if we have to do this again with end homeschooling. You know it. I know it. Parents are going to be complaining right, left, and center. Teachers are going to be complaining. Everybody's going to be complaining, right, when the teachers aren't doing their job. And some teachers weren't. But some parents weren't doing their job either. Okay? So, you know, that's a... Yeah. I remember that little talk. Uh-huh. So... These people are going to blow their gasket. Yet, I'd like to ask these people that blow their gasket, how many of those little barbecues did you have during the summer or how many times did you visit the bar and you didn't have your mask on? Or you couldn't make have social gatherings and didn't have um, social distance. Now, you might have been one of the lucky ones not to get it, but... You know, just because you were one of the lucky ones, people were doing the exact same thing that you were and they weren't one of the lucky ones. So, because everybody, you know, you know that we're going to hear the complaints. You know that. I mean, that's, everybody's going to have something nasty to say about what we did or didn't do as far as teachers and stuff like that and homeschooling again and they know how hard homeschooling was for that alone wear the mask <laughs> you know i don't know just whatever So I'm a little sticky. I'm going to wash up because I'm a mess. I'll be right back. I don't want to wash in that sink. Probably clog it. Let's go over here. Oops. Running out of room on the table. All right. I had to make sure that when it was folded like this, it would pop up that way. And I could have went a little closer into the crevice. Oh, well. Okay. So, get off there. This is going to go on here somehow. And 
then we can put some type of decoration on there, I suppose. Now, I want to do it as a tuck, but I think it would be better just to glue it to the page. So, we'll glue it to the page. We'll find something to do about it later. <laughs> S'more? <laughs> Say what? <laughs> Christine called you. What you making, S'more? Hmm. It's a new name. <laughs> I had kids, they would be whole schools. We are probably free. Oh my goodness gracious. Okay. Getting off that stuff is not easy. Ugh. All right, let's try to clean up. I don't know what I'm making. <laughs> what sort of. Crafting. I haven't really figured out any really pages that I wanted to do to this thing. So it's like make it up along the way. That's right. Kathleen is crafting. Wow. Listening to us chit and chat. <clears throat> Cynthia says double side tape or ATG gun. I don't know what an ATG gun is. Do you know what an ATG gun is? Sorry. If I'm no. Sure. But I've got AGG glue and double sided tape. Okay. I'm good there. Okay. And then I want. Tweezers. Oh my god, I'm losing my sh losing it. I'm losing it. They're right there. Right where I put them, I suppose. Is there not very much? No. Got it, crooked. Oh, well. Imperfections is not great. I think that what they say. Right. Ta -da, ta -da, ta -da. 
I think that was, I think the picture you're looking at, yes, that was Martha's husband. His baby picture, isn't he adorable? I love that curl. And this stuff keeps coming off because I'm doing this. Okay. Okay. Well, this one, if I have it flap over that way. These are not cutting for a shinola. Time for new scissors. Okay. Uh, we need so now we can't be messing with it anymore because it's just just gonna keep coming off. Should I do it in that brown color? Put the black paper away before it gets all messed up. Put the ruler back on the table and let's see if we can match up a color. Yes, Christine Hoback. Uh huh, uh huh. Yeah. Hopefully, yeah, we'll get a <clears throat> Martha's husband, Joanne. Yes, this is. This album is all about herb. Oh, yeah. We'll do it like this. Okay. All right. I think the greens are going to help any. Down here to these. Come on. Okay. Yeah, I know you can do this. Don't give me nonsense. Do not give me nonsense right now. Do you want me to be nonsense after all of that? I don't think so. I'm not sure. I like that. I like green. Okay. Mm -hmm. I don't like that color. I'm pretty good with this too. Joanne, I think she's going to give it to one of Herb's children. Is that correct? Yes, yeah, so I'm going to give it to Terry with the one that has the grandchildren. Christine, you gonna order more paper? She's so cute. Just give me an estimate. How many paper pads do you have? Who? Christine. Who's the one that had a ton of paper? I know somebody did, but I can't remember who. Oh, good night, Tracy. Have a good evening. Bye, so Cynthia has it? No clue. I think. Orva says it's a great idea what you're doing, Martha. Thank you. Well, I mean, there's a look at all the black and whites or the they're old, old ones. I mean, that's Fred and uh, Herbie when he, they were little. That was like way little. This is, I don't know whether it's Herb or Little Herb. There's another high school picture. Okay, these ones I need out. Just 
you know so all these old ones this is like when i first met herb Aww. he was skinny and i got him plumped up a little and yeah that's a memory right there to tell you so it's Nineteen fifty-nine to sixty. That was the year I was born. <laughs> okay, so these are going to go on the inside of the cover. I of have these pads. So I'm going to outline this one. What, 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 what? To anyone, the trade will make a cost. Four and a half. So we need four and three quarter. Too bad is what I meant. Oh, okay. Cynthia has uh, a lot of leftover pads. She's not going to use. Oh, really? Yes, but the ship to the weight will make it cost. So maybe if anybody wants some paper, talk to Cynthia. Nan's here. Hi, Nan. Yeah, I might have to talk to Cynthia. Nan's here, Martha. Okay, so. Nan, she's thinking. Six and a half, so we need six and three quarter. Six and, I think, three She'll quarter. She'll say hello to you in about five minutes. Like, <laughs> Hi, Nan. <laughs> well, I'm kind of listening to, to her. Okay. I'm trying to I'm trying to listen to you. I know, and I'm just going on and on. Um, do I want to brown the edges? Let's try it. Why not? Right. Use the white back side of a single-sided paper if you don't like the front. And technical. Can everything All right, so there was some um, issues with the black paper back here. Okay, well, we'll fun, we'll fun for it somehow. It would, would be that I did the whole thing and cut one side too short. Wouldn't that be a pizza? The what? Huh? Huh? You? What? Huh? I might have cut one side too short, but that's okay. We'll fix it. We'll fix it. We There's fix always it. maybe a way to fix it. Yep, I'll find a way. I'll put a bug there. Ooh, I think there you go. That is like very blurry there. I am making a canvas. And this is going to be my picture frame. And I can't say any more than that. It's a secret. About. I love secrets. <laughs> what if I say anything? I do. I love secrets. It's not a secret anymore. And I can keep secrets. I know you can. I'm really good at it. Yep, you are. But really, Christine, I'm making a mess. I just wash my hands so I can get them all dirty again. That part is going to bother me. Okay. Everything's, I can't like really fix it because everything is sticking and I don't, which is what it's supposed to do, but I can't get underneath. Okay, so let's have this. I'll tell you later. Okay. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> See, 
That little area is going to piss me off. But we will fix it. Don't you worry about a thing. We will fix it so nobody sees it. So let's make one the same as this one. So this was seven four. and three quarters. Stay together. Stay together. Stay together. Marry, marry, marry. And then we'll just fix that. No, I have secrets. Man. <laughs> so glad I have one secret or maybe two secrets. It feels so good. Usually I don't have any. Very uncontroversial. Sort of boring. It's sort of bordering on boring, if you want to know the truth. But now I, I am I'm a big shot. I got secrets. And this doesn't look right to me. So we want. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. You know what? For you. You're bothering me too much. In the garbage you go. How's that? That worked. Anybody see that? That worked really well. It wasn't sitting right. We don't have to mess with it. Now I got it gunky. Okay. Now we don't have to worry about it not working. Took care of that. See how well we took care of that? We certainly did. Hunting wabbits. I don't uh, know. <laughs> Christine said we're hunting wabbits. Like, I like life being boring. No well, for the most part, so do I. Hey, Telly. Telly's here. Hi, Telly. Hi, Telly. Hi, Telly. I'm just going to mess up my desk because I'm annoyed. Okay, let's get the Mod Podge out again. I'm going to use the glue. You know, I wanted to needle fell. Talking about rabbits. <laughs> Talking about what? Rabbits. I wanted what? to needle felt a rabbit. Not a not a rabbit rabbit, a hare. I love I don't know if anybody knows that that story, Love You to the Moon and Back, where the little the little baby hare is talking to the papa hare, I think it is. And I just love that story and I love the hares. So I wanted to always make a nice hare. So I think I might do that. Yeah, why not? Because whenever I do a new animal, it usually takes me about two, well, any time I've done a new animal so far, it's taken me at least two tries to get it to even look like the animal that I'm trying to do, and not a hippopotamus. You saw needle felting supplies. Were they good supplies or were they like, you know, the... The, uh, the Michael special supplies. What skull? I don't have it. Where did what skull come from? Is there a skull? Eh? Yeah. I don't have a skull. It says where? Whoa, where did that skull come from? No skulls here. I don't think. I don't have one. I didn't get my skeleton yet, though. You I didn't? Did. No, not yet. It's coming. No. I did mention that, didn't I? I think you were waiting on it. 
that we knew. June's excited, so let's go. I meant to just see how excited I love skulls. Not my own, not my kids. You know, people used to have it right. Didn't they used to like dig up the body and keep the bones of people? That would be nice to have their skull. Sort of keep the keep them with you. I don't think I'd mind having my husband's. I want to go shopping too. Is my I'm not really into skulls, but I've seen a couple crystal skulls and like that one liquor bottle that's a skull. I uh -huh. think that's bomb. There's only a few of them out there that I really dig. Oh, you mean this? Uh, I need to cook. Grilled cheese and a salad. Martha, you mean this? Uh, again, we're not going to know how to say this. The Savorsky ones, they're beautiful. Is that the crystal ones? Oh, yeah. Them that? ones are very, very pretty. Those are ones, yes. Especially the. I mean, like knickknack crystal ones. I've seen a couple that were really, like, freaking awesome. Some of the sugar skulls are really cute too, but ah, I'm not into sugar skulls as much. Although I did do a little one for one of my witches. Well, oh, going to ask you what you're cooking today, Talise. I'd rather have the ashes, no bones, not too. But I yeah. would like the skull. It's nice. You can talk to them more. You can be like Macbeth. Was that Macbeth or Othello? I don't know. I don't know. Tiffany's here. Hi, hey, Tiffany. Tiffany. Yay, Tiffany finally got her a new car. She got her a, um, a Kia. Gad and Rose getting uh, acquainted with her little four-wheel. I'm not driving tonight. I refuse. LOL. Well, good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Okay. That looks like it's coming up, but it's not. Ouch. I want some trim. So I'm going to What am I going to do? Okay. Oh, Barbara, can I come to your house? <laughs> Joanne says I want fried taters, beans, and cornbread. That's Telly. And Joanne says, hang out to my memories and forget this. <laughs> oh, gosh. Oh, my gracious. <laughs> well, I'll come something. back here. <laughs> How much room we got here? Come back, come back. There we go. Let's do one, two, five eighths. Wow, Joan Rivers used to collect people's ashes? Holy moly. That's, that's yeah, crazy. I heard of that. Really? Uh, yeah. I got my dog's ashes, and that's about the only one I really want. Some people have fetishes, you know? Yeah. Okay, so this is 12 inches. We want an inch. Okay, what's Mexican street corn, Joanne? I don't know what it is, but it sounds absolutely delicious. And I want to go to everybody's house. Why doesn't everybody just ship me a meal? <laughs> <laughs> I 
She's got, I mean, come on, she's fried tables, beans, and cornbread. Joanne's got steak and. Uh, Six and seven eighths. Okay, now that I got I made a memory box over the weekend. Buy your book of memories. And it's beautiful. Yes, Billy loves it, but not tonight. Just opened a can. Oh, that's cute. That's nice. She would ask for a little bit, and they always gave her some. She wanted her friends close. Okay. I can see. I need, uh, I got one right here. Tiny bites for little strips. It's so delicious. They grill the corn and slather it with mayo and a Mexican cheese. Oh. Sounds kind of yummy. Oh, wow. Okay. I love the corn. I am moving my die cut. I'm pulling my table out. I don't like I'm going to set up my cutter right on the table. There we go. Okay. I wish that darn arm had a locking mechanism on it. What arm? The arm on the cutter. Oh. Yeah, I hate too, but some of the stuff that everybody makes sounds so delicious. You get hungry again. And I tell you what a difference it makes when you brush off your central air unit. It really works when it's clean. <laughs> oh, okay. So, you, so it's working, that one that was freezing over? Well, the one that's cooling the house down is finally working right. Thank goodness. Yeah. So I, you know, they even took the tomahawk and went out there and cut part of the tree down that was growing there. All the limbs and stuff like that. It needs a nice saw job to get the rest of it. But, uh, yeah, I brushed it up. And it's like, now I got to go buy a hose. So tomorrow, I wanted to go, I really wanted to go to Frankenmuth today to go buy some beads. A fun trip. Uh-huh. And it's like, I think tomorrow I'm going to like cruise out, out towards Menards. I want to go check their toilet prices. I want to check their cabinets for the bathroom. Although I'd really like to buy like an old dresser, some type of dresser and put in there. That'd be so cool. Oh, an old dresser. Um, and check out a... Uh, you okay? Um, 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 a walk-in shower unit, if that possible. Oh, Nan's leaving? I'm sorry. Bye, Nan. Bye, Nan. <laughs> so, tomorrow, I think I'm going to go out and check out some places. Maybe go to Home Depot first and check out their prices and then go to Menards and then... Oh, shoot. Oh, I got to buy a new water hose because it would be nice to just go out there and hose the thing instead of brushing it all off. And a nozzle. Well, I don't know if you can. I don't know if you can hose that thing down. Is that such a good idea? A lot of people say they hose it. Anybody else got central air and uh, hose them down? I don't. I mean, they get wet when it rains, but I don't brush. I don't put. It's electricity. I don't put water on purpose near electricity. I don't think a lot of the water goes inside of it because of that grill thing. 
Yeah. It's just to blow off all that stuff that's on the outside, which is starting the cottonwood tree. Okay. Well, maybe we get, oh, Shirley says yes. I got my lace today and it's so pretty. Yes, it does have some pretty laces in there, don't it? And we can say thank you, Ruby Lockwood, for that. Thank you, Ruby. I did buy one too. It's nice to have some flat laces and it's not just one side, you know, they got both sides. And not a bad price for them either. Hi, Sherry. Oh, look, I'm trying to glue it down. There wasn't even glue on it. <laughs> like, why is it popping up? Uh, make sure you get the corners very good. So I'd rather just do it like that. Oh, okay. Kathleen Wood is hoes down every week. So I was wrong. Go hose that thing. Yep. One of the other girls told me they hose it down too. Was it Telly? I think Telly told me that. My daughter's throwing clothes at me, right? What did you throw down here? Okay. I'm ducking. All right. Come on, everybody. Let's try. That's getting gunky over here. What is going on? Now she's vacuuming. I'm telling you. Okay, now I need a piece to go across here. Um, the big bad boy, the big bad Who's afraid of the big bad boy? I take the filter out, and my filter is not one of those replaceable filters, and we um, vacuum it during the year, I mean, during the season, and then I wash it, because you can wash this filter, so I wash it, like, either at the beginning or the end. I'm just trying to get some ribbon around the frame, um, I mean, around the canvas, because I'm going to use this as the frame. And I'm trying to Mod Podge it, and I'm all stuck. I'm all sticky. Got Mod Podge all over my fingers. Oh, that's right. How was Billy's birthday party? Did you have fun with the girls there? Did you miss me? Uh huh. Uh huh. Did you miss me? Uh huh. Uh huh. Did you miss me, Barbara. <sighs> okay, I thought, or I did see some burlap ribbon somewhere at a dollar at the store. And guess what? I don't think I bought the darn thing. Kind of stuff I got sitting here. I'm having a little bit of I'm being being very silly today. Oh, I see she missed me bunches. Wow, I wish I was there. Would have eaten like a queen. I would have helped with the dishes though. I just want to let you know. I don't mind doing dishes. Ugh. Smudge Podge is getting rather gunky. There's gunky stuff in there. I don't see. Did Telly fall down again? Where's Telly? <laughs> fall down. Oh no. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, did she have to go and make? Yeah, I wish I was there. I would love to. But um, we're not allowed to travel. Or what people aren't allowed to travel to. I forgot which one it is currently. Okay. 
Bummer deal, Maynard. Bummer deal. Oh, it's an overlap ribbon. My, I do have this overlap. Nope, not there. No, 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 no. Save that for another another day. So we've got we could do five eight. There she is. I thought you were making taters. We in the kitchen, we were making meatloaf. I thought hey, you were making meatloaf. meatloaf. And something else. There was no meatloaf. meatloaf. <laughs> now she's making meatloaf. I bet you that's good too, Lordy. Uh, do, 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 do. Yes. Well, I'm not sure if um the phase are open yet. The phase open? I don't think so. I mean, I don't know. I don't. I wouldn't. I wouldn't go to a buffet right now, even if it was open. But I'm not sure. Our governor is not allowing uh, Manhattan to open up their restaurants, and that's because we haven't, the people in Manhattan haven't been complying. He's probably going to close Suffolk down any day now, which is fine with me, too. Close it down. Let's go backwards. Maybe then all those people will stop having barbecues without masks. Meatloaf starter royal onion seasoning is nice. We played home so much fun and ate like pigs. Oh, I'm glad you had fun, Barbara. Let's see if I, you know, you really, I really have to get new scissors. I have another pair, but that writing went that way, so that's good. Oh, you cannot screw this one up, John. Ah, perfect. Okay, because okay, you don't have anything left to replace it with if you screw this one up. Yeah. Tell yourself that. <laughs> oh no, I have white. I still have white. So yeah, okay. I, I have, I have ability to screw up. Okay. Me too, if I can't find my pencil mark. Oh, there it is. Uh, all right. So we'll put the white over in the corner. That looks pretty good. The salad bar? Yeah. Cynthia's leaving. Bye, Cynthia. Bye, Cynthia. Rotel, not royal. I said I wanted, oh, she wanted Tater's beans and not that I was cooking it. Oh, I'm sorry, Telly. Salad sounds nice. Yeah, Joanne, what they did in, in key food, well, key food, like everybody knows what key food is. Um, they had like the, you know how they have the olives displayed? Well, now nothing is displayed. It's all in containers. So you have to, you can't like scoop it up yourself, which I'm fine with. I just bought the container for the black olives because I love the the, calam, um, the black calamata. I don't know how to say it. Olives, love them. Put them in salads and stuff. Okay. Yeah, way back when, Myers used to have an olive bar where you could go dip out your own olives. And yep. Ouch. What's going on here? Oh, everything was on the floor. That's what's going on. That's why it's slipping. It's sliding. Okay. Got me, Joe. <laughs> Okay, let's try not to screw this one up. Okay. 
Okay. Right there. Uh, crease in the paper. It's a crease in its own paper. Okay, let's smooth that out a little. All right, save that piece. Oh, I got a, I got scissors. Okay, there. so we got that. Oops. My teeth would work better than these scissors. Done. I think that's pretty. It's not pretty, at least different. Beans and how do you pour bread? I'll take that. Because it's really safe. Sounds like somebody's got a metal detector going. We have what? A metal detector. Outside? No, I hear it on uh, whatever I'm hearing. Oh, I don't have a metal detector. My daughter's chopping food upstairs. That's so. what. Oh. You well, hear her chopping something, honey? She's chopping. What are you chopping, Megs? What? I just wonder what it was because I heard it. Oh, it's Eddie. Eddie, what are you chopping? Cucumbers. Cucumber. Eddie's chopping cucumbers. I thought it was Megan. Okay, I'm trimming these pictures down. Marble cuts has in cubes with onion and bake in the oven. Fried hurts. Yeah, fried food would hurt your belly. That's true. Um, is there a Gia Russa Italian products in your stores? No, I don't think so. We have other things. We have Sofia as one of the brands we have, but then I have an Italian store if I go to it, you know. We call it Uncle Giuseppe's. I don't know if anybody has them around here. They, you know, they have a couple of stores. Hey, Giuseppe. Press out and the old one made me hungry, and this barrel knot has made me mad. Um, Kathleen's doing a barrel knot, whatever that is. Doing a what? A barrel knot. Oh, I don't know that one. And Bren's here. Hi, Bren. Hi, Bren. That one looks a little better. Stuff. Cut all that off. Okay, so he is younger. These are about the same. 
I've never made collard greens, but I have tasted them from the, um, what you might call an official, I'm not going to say it's real official, uh, barbecue, southern barbecue place that's out in Riverhead, and they were absolutely superb. So maybe I should get collard green recipes, because that would be a nice thing to add to the green recipe, because I'm getting tired of spinach. And broccoli. I can't have broccoli rub because I got sick on it once. And even though it probably wasn't that a broccoli rub, I just can't eat it because it just reminds me of when it um, came back up. So can someone look at the shopping bags out of the car for me? I would love to, Christine. I would love to help. I know, by the time I finish shopping, I'm so exhausted. <laughs> okay. So I'm just going to sit here and chat and aggravate Martha while this thing dries. Martha's thinking, uh oh, I might not have enough papers. So I have to learn how to do some skimping here and there. Oh, and I'm all blurry. Oh, shall I put my hands down? My hands are full of Mod Pods again. I've, I think I've. Um, Why am I using my mouse again? I think you can get beet greens, I think you have. Um, the other thing I like is uh, Swiss chard. But again, I have to go to Uncle Giuseppe's to get good Swiss chard. And not that it's that far, but it's not in my normal realm. And since I normally food shop at two different stores, to go to one more usually drives me crazy. But because of the pandemic, I went there a couple more times than I usually do because I didn't want to be without certain cheeses. Oh, now I've never eaten the leaves of the cauliflower. Oh. You get all sorts of recipes in your in your chat, Martha. Huh? Yes, beet green like Swiss chard. We're getting recipes. Oh, good. I don't like, yeah. <laughs> I'm a cold green salad type person. I don't, I don't like all that. Ugh. I tried a can of that, three different greens, and it was like horrible, but, oh. Well, it's not a can. You got to get it fresh. Well, it is still, but hey, I like my leaf lettuce. I make my <laughs> leaf lettuce salad. Corroderie parts. <laughs> <laughs> I use uh, romaine for my salad most of the time. Eddie likes arugula and kale. And me and Megan do the uh, romaine. I do love a salad. You know, I, I don't mind raw spinach. Stuff See, like that, but. I can't eat raw spinach. That bothers my stomach. But I can eat cooked spinach. That I can eat. Hi, Lise. How are you? Hi, Lise. I don't like arugula, Joanne, but he loves it. So I don't know. Some of that and watercress. My mom always used to have watercress. <laughs> I didn't like that. And then dive. And I've never had arugula, I don't think. It's peppery. He loves it. I have to buy him bags of it all the time. He eats it all the time. I'm just peeling my fingers. Hey, let's 
Let's watch Martha Craft and Drew feel her fingers. <laughs> Ooh, they feel weird. Yeah, I don't even know if they still have it. My mom used to have that and dive watercraft, but arugula and dive watercraft. And thank goodness she never made okra. Well, she made it once, and like nobody ate it, so she never. Oh, made no, it. I love fried fresh okra. Yeah, okra. I, I, I can't stand it frozen. It's too freaking slimy. I can't eat it slime. I can't eat slimy. I just can't. <sighs> Oops. It got a little short. Hey, bud. A little short. I'm not doing very good on my measuring people. I want to keep the ladies um, entertained by the little water. <laughs> no, I'm only kidding. Yeah, sure, why not? No, I'm only kidding. I'm about to crack open a drink. Why not? Oh, no. Don't be talking to me. How's that one doing? Doing good. How are you, sweetie? Pretty good. Hanging out. Yeah, man, I ain't getting my cuts right. But what are you making? I'm just I'm catching up over here. Oh, there you go. What? 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 Huh? 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 No, I'm just looking. Okay. Well, I am making a mini album. Okay, thank you. All right, she's taking over. Oh, bravo, bravo. Bellissima. <laughs> Let me see my... Of course, my towel is not wet today. Why is it not? I don't know. Get all these pokey things out of my way. All right, there. Background. Now, I think we are going to design for that. Okay. I think I'm going to use die cut, die cut. Die cut. I can't do anything with this anymore. Um, no, I gotta wait for this to dry. I can't do anything until it dries. Yes, I've also got pine cone cutouts. Okay, let's see what hold back. My mom used to use flour and bacon grease and heat up drain can spinach. Put the plate in here over about a tablespoon to taste so delicious. That's kind of how you make uh, wilted lettuce, except you use sugar in it, too. It's bacon grease, sugar, and vinegar. Love that stuff. Oh, my God. I can eat a whole head of that all by myself. You could probably put nuts in it, too, if you wanted. Okay, what we got here? Here's the two smallest ones, right? So, put it in there. No, it won't. Small. It's sticking to me. That's really too good. Okay, you gotta wash your hands again. 
So the subject to that, uh-huh, 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 I'll show you some tricks. Tricks of the trades. We're going to take and cut out this a piece of paper and give ourselves a little bit of an edge. So we're going to cut. Here and here. Cut that off. And then cut that part off. And we shall see if it works or not. We get our dye machine and then we put it on the floor. Oh, brother. take and we're just gonna let's do it opposite we'll just tape it right there find us a little piece of tape here and just tape whatever edging you like I guess right there on the edge we're gonna try see if it works oh and then the tape come off of course of course it did oops why not Hey, Olivia. I'm just washing my hands, trying to get some of this Mod Podge off. Okay, did that work? Yes, it did. I think my arthritis is acting up because my knuckle is a little bit. Same thing to this one. Yeah. Icky. Details. It takes time. Yep. Lots of time. Especially if you want it to look like it's going to work. <laughs> hey, oh, we yeah. edge, eh? One more edge. Oh, Olivia. No problem, sweetheart. <laughs> Then trump me anytime. I hope you had fun. Alright. Time to get rid of that tape. It's even got hair on it. We had fun, me and Martha. And Christine came in and Barbara came in for a little bit. But then Barbara's having internet issues. Christine was here and then she had dog issues. I still have my balloon. I threw out my hat. Everybody told me I look like a, a hamburger waitress or some nonsense. And you know, last minute. Martha had a pretty hat. She had a little crown. Yeah. We had fun. 
We all blew out candles, or I blew out fire. Everybody we ate cake. Well, one's a head cake. Everybody <laughs> <laughs> was eating cake. Let me see if I remember. Christine had bones. chocolate. Barbara had. Tully mm -hmm. had lemon. And Barbara had berry, some kind of berry. 1960. Yep, Martha had a hat on. She had a birthday hat on. You come to my party, you have to wear a birthday hat. That's mandatory. Okay, now, Olivia, be good. Thank she you. had a cake and she ate it too. Be good, sweetie. <laughs> uh, okay. The picture's going to go over here. Hopefully that'll fit. I am a mess. Right in there. So we take our dull polymer clay blade and let's see if we can't kill ourselves. Not kill ourselves here. This poor mat. Get you set off. Ah. I'm throwing things. Uh -huh. All right, please drop me. So, I've been concerned about Heather Tracy because she hasn't been doing any shows. Oh, yeah. And she's still posting on Facebook, uh, uh, like a couple of times. So, like, I was beginning to wonder because she was sick for a while. I was beginning to wonder if she was sick with this. Um, God, I but, don't she's, know. but she's still posting on Facebook, so it's not like something. I mean, not often, but she says she doesn't go to Facebook. I looked up to see if she has a Patreon account. She doesn't that I could find. I looked on the Thicket Works and Heather, you know. I, I just, yeah. I know she posted something about, you know, all the stuff that was happening and everything. And then she just stopped and said she's not going to be on Facebook that often. And I, don't, I just don't know where she is unless she's on her private chat, you know, her, I don't know. I just don't know where she is. I don't know. Maybe she's... I have no idea, my dear. I couldn't tell you one thing or the other. Um, <laughs> Maybe she's making one heck of a diorama and... Going to floor us? Yeah. And I watched Ara Bentley, and I saw that. She did that ship in the air. That wasn't – did you get to watch that? No, I didn't watch it yet. You didn't watch it? Not yet, no. Okay, she did the um, that ship she was working on. She put it under a dome, but she um, made it look like it was an airship. I don't know when they decided to make that look like an airship, but – Whatever they, I guess her live stream decided. I thought she was. I guess the ship was too big because I thought she was going to put it in her captain's quarters that she was making. I forgot to darken the edges. That's all right. Oh my God! Please don't ask if we have any time. I yeah, I am the safety director. I don't know if I'm the safety director anymore, Christine. I don't know what I am. I know Carla gives out the infractions because I sort of gave her that job. Am I still the safety director? As far as we all know, yes, you are. Oh, oh okay. This is my old one. By the way, just so you know, it's sharp, but it's not as sharp as the new one. I would never do this with the new one. I just got to get some of this stuff off because it's really gross. Not gross, it's just a pit. So much for a smooth... 
Okay. So now I've done house cleaning. What else can I do? Martha, any post? Martha, have you gotten any post? What? Any posts? That's any Olivia. Posts. That's Olivia. Um, no, except for that paper. I got a 12 by 12 pack of papers from Christine. I went to the mailbox today and all I got was like bills. Oof. Or in, I don't know what. So now I'm thinking I should do it. Yeah, I have glass on my other desk. I have the glass on the desk that I usually work my clay on. And I also have the um, ceramic tiles that I put the clay in the oven with. But <laughs> I bought this because this desk is like, it's not really a desk. It was something we just bought real cheap just to put the computer on a long time ago. And of course, we never, I never got a good one. So the desktop is bad. And I bought this nice mat. Well, it was nice when I first got it to make it look pretty. And I did YouTube videos and I messed it up. See the other side because I got um, got acetone on it. So it really messed up the other side. Look at this. This got really messed up. So I guess I got to get another one, but eh. I mean, it's not pretty, but it serves its purpose. It always amazes me when crafters have these beautiful desks. Maybe they're just neater than I am. And they're crafting and, they're, and they're, everything is so beautiful. I'm a, I, I messed mine up. I did call you Olivia. Didn't I call you Olivia? I didn't call you Bill. Yes, is messed up. But that's okay. It still does what it has to do. And there's other things that I'm going to buy before another one of these, I guess. Oh, Martha, that's pretty. I've been so busy doing my own little nonsense over here. I haven't even seen what you've been doing. That's really pretty. That black frame around that picture, that's gorgeous. Well, that's going to be throughout the whole album because oh, she said she <laughs> that thing's from Bill. Oh, <laughs> sorry, Olivia, I'm not paying attention. You doing that with decorative scissors? No, with die cuts. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, how cool. Yeah, they're pretty neat. I got them off uh, Amazon, I believe. <laughs> nice. I just want a thin border on this one, and I can't quite get it. You're in England, Olivia? Am I, did we go over this once before, and I forgot? There go. Probably, right? Oh, that's my little Keep cast border. iron mouse. Isn't it cute? I love my little cast iron mouse. Okay, and my coffee. Fifi is making a pasta salad. Nice. Venus and Mars is here. 
Who? Venus and Mars. Oh, hello. Here from Karen, K -K Kathy, no. No, we do not. Hmm. Very interesting. You should ask that. Uh huh. No. And I still glued it on wrong. Ah. I'm not doing good today at doing things I want to do. Let's measure this damn thing. Nice, friend. Two and one three eight. So we need two and a half. <laughs> and three and a half. Two and a half. Three and a half. Long enough, three and a half. Nice, Christine. Christine does. Hopefully, this one fits. Why can't I measure today? Sliver that. That should be about right. Hopefully. halfway straight. <laughs> um, I got 827, Bren. <sighs> Yeah, we got an emergency alert on my uh, phone today. Masks must be worn inside and outside of public places. Is that new? Because we we right, we uh, had that. Is that new for you guys? Kind of, yeah. Well, I mean, we're still supposed to wear it inside the store. Yeah. But now they're saying, um, that we got to wear it, you know, like if you're going to maybe like Home Depot and you go to the garden section where it's outside. Yeah. You know, I don't know. <laughs> Because we was we've been uh, under masks for months now. Which one did I just go? That was nineteen sixty two. I I think Atlanta is. Do, I don't know. Maybe. Fresh water. Drive you crazy. Okay, somewhere I have, oh my God. 
God, if I was smart and put them all in the same place, that would be a miracle. I am looking for some miniature numbers. Oh, dear. I hope the heck they're in here. By any right means, they should be in here. Oh, you can't see what I'm doing. Uh, There's paper towels. Oh, where, where, where else would I have put them? What's in the pink box? Oh, I forgot. What's in the green box? I forgot. Oh, so if I put this on, it takes off everything. So I got to prime this thing. Really? Do I have to gesso this thing? Yes, I do. Gesso it, baby girl. Gesso it. I don't feel like gesso. Do I really have to gesso this too? Yep, because everything just rubs right the heck over. Okay. Oh, zoom out. This is about as far as far as I can go, guys. Sorry. Hey, Martha, can you take off the thing on the bottom? Say what, huh? The, I don't uh, know how you do that. What? Uh, where do you do that at? Um, I think the upper right-hand corner. Is that it? Yeah, I think. Well, that ain't it. Something about your banners. Oh, right way over here. Hold on. Uh, brand banners. Uh, wait a minute. What is that? This. That's the just of this. Yes, yes, yes. I didn't want to just this. That's Thank you, Christine. I got it right. Aid. I really don't. I could just spray paint it. Can I spray paint? Yeah, I could spray paint it. I don't have to just, but I can spray it. Cause I don't, cause everything is just coming off of it. Oh, this. Okay. Well, I'm good. not sure how to do it, cause I ain't getting. Wait a minute, let's see. Three dots. No, that ain't it. That's okay. That's all right. I'm, I'm, I got my camera a little bit higher. What I tr so what I tried to do on this thing was take an easy way out. I started to spray it um, with some. <clears throat> it's okay, Martha. Don't worry about it. You keep going. I try to spray it with some sp uh, Tim Holtz spray, whatever you this distress something or other. And just didn't. And then I like beating up. Come on. Then I used chalk paint and like went over it with chalk paint. But if when I put more color on it, it comes off. So I'm thinking that I have to now. I really have to to get it to stay that it doesn't come off. See, it washes right off. Look at this. I'm going to have to, um, because it was metal and enamel paint, I'm going to have to prime it with some. I have off white. I have white primer, so I'm gonna have to start all over again. What a pain in the neck! But it figures. It's what happens with me a lot. So can't take shortcuts. So now I gotta clean it off. 
What do I do with all my? You know, I probably got rub on numbers. So and this only goes up to thirty one. I saw on Pinterest one, you know, like a um, bird cage where they made it all rusty colored and then they put like um, flowers on it. On the top, it was real pretty. I can't, I don't know if I can get the uh, the link for you guys. Very, very pretty. So I wanted to try to do something just a little bit different. I mean, originally I was just going to paint this um, black, but I liked it looking rusty. So this is a project I got to do outside, so I can't do this now. Had fun painting it if I could have done that. See, I don't know if you can see how it beat it up. No, yeah. See how it beat it up over in there? That's what the um, sprays did. It really didn't do anything. Figured the chalk paint might work, but it didn't. So first I was going to put like a little happy contented mouse in here. I would like make it a little home. I didn't want to put a fairy in here because everybody does that. You know, that's sort of boring. Everybody always puts a fairy in these things. Oh, you are playing? <laughs> Air guitar? Mm hmm I missed that too. That's what I was playing after I quit trying to find that banner thing. Uh, it was like the music got my fingers going. So then... I thought maybe I would just make it all sorts of rusty like that thing and put a cup of fake candle in it for Halloween. I'm getting more Halloween decorations. And I, I don't even know. I don't even have the space to, to, to use them all. I have to venture out into other floors. Yes, Holly May. What would you like now? Let me guess. More T R E A T S S. Oh, baby girl. I'm even gonna let her sit on the chair when I got out, but no, she wouldn't not know it. What? Damn. Olivia is asking, are there mini alphabet and number punch stamp rods? Those would work for names and dates in old font. Uh, 
Oh, I've got that rummage sale. I bought the stamp set, and I mean, them babies are like two millimeter tall. I never forget about them, but it's okay to write it in there. I should have done it. Yeah, it looks all right. What? What? Yeah, I was thinking of that too, yeah. Joey. You know, but a raven is too big for this. A starling, which is another black bird, was too big. So I think I'll just you do a mouse with wings. I'll just either put you know, like angel wings. I could do a mouse, poor little mouse, but then you know he's went to his golden cage. I think I'll just put a candle. I don't know. So I'm so upset somebody stole mine off my damn fish hook. My shepherd's hook out there. Primer should work on metal, right? Yes. Works on glass. It'll work on metal. What do you want? Yeah, what? Okay. Huh? What? Really? <laughs> no, no, I'm not giving you none in here today. Nope. Work okay, one colors away. You want these strategically placed so they can't see them until you open up the edges. Bats always look bigger than mice. A vampire bat. Ooh. <gasps> I've been wanting, I could do, well, maybe I could look a man. <sighs> nice. I could do a vampire bat. Oh, yeah, yeah. I could do one of those. Yeah, yeah. I remember I was telling you about the Christine McC McConnell. She does a big hairy spider. To do a big, I don't have to do a big hairy spider. I mean a big spider, but I could do a hairy spider. But I think a vampire bat would be so much better. Yeah, that'd be cool. You have them hanging upside down. <laughs> yeah. Put a little rod or something on this, and <laughs> Olivia's gone. Spider, bye. I'm out. Bats are, I mean, I'm not really into bats like flying around me, but they are cute. I could do a cute one, not like a, a comic one, but sometimes they have pictures of these cute little mice. I mean, bats. Right. I could do a bat. <laughs> Candle just sounds too normal. Thank you, jo <laughs> I love Joanne. I do. I love her. I absolutely love her. Even if she doesn't show us stuff, I love her. Oh, Candle sounds too normal. You know, I'm. Yeah. Well, we're gonna we're gonna show some normal stuff I did in a little while as soon as soon as it gets done. And I had such a hard time with it. I had to have my daughter come and help because I was really having, I try to do a shabby, cheeky type looking thingy. And I have to tell you, because I wanted to go outside my comfort zone, you know, we were all supposed to go out of side of comfort zone, right? Well, I was so far out of my comfort zone, I couldn't find it. 
I couldn't even go back and look for it. So um, I even had my daughter help me. But it was nice, you know why? Because me and my daughter hung out together for like, I don't know, six, seven hours. And we were just hanging out crafting together. Well, I was sort of, I was just holding the glue and she was figuring out where everything should go because I was lost. I would do it if she needed something painted, but it was really fun. Okay, so that's the second thing. Did the first thing dry? Where did I put the first thing? Second thing can't do because I got to go outside and prime it. It's dark out and there's mosquitoes. So let's move on. Maybe the first thing. Dry. Oh. <laughs> okay, I it dried enough where I could play around with it a little bit more and get my hands more filled up just so we can get this part done. Okay. <laughs> Oh, gosh. I love, you know, I love our little community that we've made. I really do. Yeah, we got a bunch of good people. Yeah. And we're not so bad ourselves, right? Wow. I just like our little community. It's like, you know, it's, it's so different. <clears throat> Is that we have, you know, I'm, okay, again, you know that I'm old, but I'm conversing from pe with people that are all over the world. I mean, think about that. That really freaks me out sometimes. Like, yeah, I'm, it's cool. I, it's cool, though. No, no, no. I think, it, I think it's great. It's just so different for me, you know. Um, I used to think long distance calling was such a big thing, you know, and now I'm talking to people. Olivia's in England. I know there's p other people, other places, and even yeah, New Zealand and, and Scotland and Ireland. And, uh, but, even, but even across America, I mean, how often do I like make long distance phone calls? My sister's in California and that's it. Okay, and that was the extent of my long distance. But now I know people from all over the place. At, Bren is in uh, Bren is in Canada. I have like this these friends on Facebook that are in Canada. I mean, this is like so cool. It really is. So I tell my sister I'm global now. <laughs> 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 I've gone global. <laughs> Kathleen's in Houston, Telly's in Texas. Let's see, I got my address list somewhere around here where everybody is. Lisa's in Canada. Look at these, Pete, you know? Oh, my aunt lives in Jersey. Okay, so it was Jersey and California, and that was it. Right, Joanne? I've never... Sherry's in West Virginia. Obviously, I'm from New York. We don't even have to figure that one out. That one's not hard to figure. You're in Michigan, right? Yeah. I'm sorry. Christine, where are you again? I'm sorry. I forgot. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. 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 I know I have your address here. Kelly's transplanted from Arkansas. Ohio, that's right. Barbara is from North Carolina, I think. When we had Crystal, she was from Utah. Amy. No, Alabama. 
Nikki Alabama. Amy was Washington State. I mean, it's just really nice. Clear across the country and out of the country. And Tiffany's in Massachusetts. That's what I said. New Zealand. And Brent's in Saskatchewan. I'm back, and it's not. I mean, it's it really is nice. All over the world. All over the world, I'm talking. And then I have that wonderful lady that she speak talks to me from speaks to me in Spanish from Mexico. You know, she talks to me in Spanish, so I have to Google Translate because I don't have the slightest idea of what she's saying. I'm sorry, I don't know any other languages besides English. And she's wonderful. She's sweet as sweet can be. Well, at least Google Translate is saying she says good, nice things. Then I got to write back to her in Spanish. So I got to go the, the other way in translating. It's really nice. Joanne's in Kentucky. Look at that. I mean, if I took a cross-country trip, I could stay at somebody's house every step, almost in every state, or every two states. Just don't send me your phone bills. Well, that's the good thing about it. With the internet, is that, you know, once we pay for our internet, we could talk to people all over the place. Look at how many places I'm talking to you now. I mean, you're not talking back, you're typing, but you Yeah, hire a, get a motorhome, that's true. Except I don't drive on highways, so I'd have to take my son. Then my daughter wouldn't want to be left home, back, so then that would be three of us in a motorhome. Well, oh, we're doing so. We're okay. We haven't killed each other so far. Hi, Sherry. You don't drive the highway, huh? Nope. Didn't have to drive when I was younger. I came from the city. We had mass transportation. Never learned how to drive on highways. And then I got scared because everybody drives like they their asses on. Oh, sorry, their butts on fire in New York. Yeah, it's like down in Detroit, man. Uh, people cutting over in five freaking uh -huh. lanes. It's like, oh my god. Uh -huh. I learned I just go the speed limit. If it says 45, I do 45, and people go around me, and I'm good. Yeah. I'm good. I think we might have to have some to hold that down. Oh, Martha Olivia is saying Grumpy wants to go into caravan for a couple of weeks, but if we do, I'll try messaging you before he kidnaps me. Yeah, where's that caravan going? Over to here in front of my house? Hey, it'd be fun. Go get some little vacation in at the campground. My friends have been at a campground for a week. I think they're supposed to come home today. And uh, I said, well, I'll come out if I got a place to sleep. She never answered. I asked about three times. She said, well, sure you do. And it's like, uh, I ain't going to bother them. Charlie, where are you? I, I should know. But I don't, I mean, I don't have my addresses thing for everybody. Okay, so should I put, I got to do something with these pages. I don't know what to do. 
Um, oh, I'm out of frame. I don't know what I'm doing here. What else I got here? That picture. Oh, his old car. He loved his old car. Oh. <laughs> All right, what happened here? He's out in a little sunbathing. Uh, okay, so now we can put it over there. Um, Missouri. See? Charlie's in Missouri. Who's that? Well, that's Herb. That's Herb. Okay, that goes in the fishing section. Okay. That's the kids' section. Where'd all the kids' pictures go? This is in the guy cool all over my oh, head. Shoot. Okay, so we'll put one there, one here. Oh. And how to decorate it. Christine wants to know if you have pictures of his parents. Um, not through the pictures I've saved in here, but I am, she's got plenty of pictures of him. I just oh. wanted this of him and the grandkids and his kids, just him. Mm -hmm. That's so cute. So... He was born in 46. So this must be 47. Wow. Sherwood Forest Camp? Sherwood <laughs> Forest? Ah. Oh. Robin Hood and Sheriff of Nottingham. Where's Joplin? We love staying in Sherwood Forest Camp site. Clumber. There's no cell phone. I don't go hang out with Olivia and Sherwood Forest. I can hang out in Sherwood Forest. You know, where I'd love to hang out because I went there once and I got to go back. I'd like to go back to Mule Woods. M-U-I-R if I'm saying it improperly in San Francisco. I have to go with the redwood trees. Holy moly. Holy moly. There's a magical place on earth. That's one of them. Oh, it's in Missouri? Okay. So, 15, Iowa. So, look at all these states I can hit. Although, now I have to go over to England so I can go to Sher Sherwood Forest. June, you would love Columbus. I woke up with damn squirrels staring at us. Oh, how cool is that? Telly, the squirrels staring at them through the skylight window. Oh, but they're happy thieves. They're all drinking. As long as they're all happy drunks, that's okay. Look at this hand now. Mm. What did I get? Oh, because I was doing a rust thing. They wait for breakfast nuts. Aw. So my sister got tested for COVID, COVID, whatever you, the thing, and she's okay. But her stomach's still bothering her, so now she really should go to the doctor to figure out what's going on with her stomach. Uh, yeah. Yeah, we got to get that going on. But she's okay. She doesn't have it, which is good because her husband is, he used to be in the Army, and now he works for the VA, and he's constantly going in. Uh, Scrat wants a pecan. Did you notice how good I said pecan? So she's always worried because he's going in and she's not sure he's being like really safe with the masks and stuff like that. So, and she's working from home. Yeah. 
but California might be closing down again too. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Well, there's a lot of dinglings going to the stores without masks on, looking at us with the masks on, and it's like, yeah, well, where in the hell is yours? Yep, I told you my when when this first started, my son was wearing a mask. A lady looked at him like he had sixteen, like you know, and then she walked right by him and like coughed, and he said she coughed on purpose. Well. Special place in hell for you, honey. When this is when it first started, not when you know, not now it's mandatory. Special place. <laughs> yeah, the protesters may or may not be helping it. That's true, but we also have a lot of people not complying, you know, beaches, barbecues. There's a lot of nonsense going on. At least in my, my area in the woods, they haven't been complying when they go for a walk. They don't have one. Now, you're not, you know, you're not, you don't have to wear one unless you're near people. But they don't even have one to put on if they walk by us. Yeah, well, that's what they're complaining yeah. about here is these people are not wearing theirs or whatever. And that's when the, the numbers were climbing here. So that's not like now. That was when it was really serious. and Well, not the first couple of weeks of serious and scary because I didn't go out except the food shop when it was serious and scary. But I learned my lesson. I have flour. I have sugar. I have beans. So if it happens again, I'm ready. Squirrels love tormenting dogs. Yes. And this, uh, whatever, let's not talk about that. Did anybody ever call the dragonflies dining needles? We used to call them dining needles when we were young. Did anybody else call them that? Is Newt the cat, Kelly? Poor thing. Terrified. It's a bit terrifying. <laughs> No, yeah, we used to. I don't know why we call them dining needles. We used to call them. Okay. Think that'll help dry it? 
he can or oh you have heard of that thank you telly yes he can con sorry oops said it wrong again orchard in arkansas when i was a kid wow Ah, oh, my phone's down to nothing again. Let me go charge that. Peaches are good this year. Sometimes peaches aren't good. Peaches are all delicious this year. I'm finding them anyway. Newton Scrat. <laughs> crazy, crazy, crazy. That's pretty, Martha. That page. It's getting there. I'm thinking about maybe using these letters and putting Herb or Dad. I don't know yet. Can I see those letters? Can I see them? Oh, those are pretty. Kind of like uh, like a wood grain. That's pencil drawing, actually. But I don't know, because they're black. I think they would show up very well. Uh -huh. Or I could die cut them out of the ones I got. But... See, this is uh, 132 sheets. Yeah. I think I'm going to put something down here. Oh. This is what I've got on this side. Put something down here for to write on. I don't know what to write. Could write his name and his birth date. Well, I think I've still got some of that writing paper from the wedding album. That might could look good on there. And then I'm going to take some decorative paper and put here. So now we got to do something with this side. And this was his car in May of 1966. Wow. And that's actually the, I believe that was the house next door. Wait a minute. Let me move the door. This is the house they used to grow up in, but now they lived over there where Emma lived, Emmy, their mother. 
I don't know. That might even be before they moved there. I'm going to say that's where it is. So we're going to put this over here. Let's see what else I got here. That's the kids. That's fishing. And only one of his wives is going to be in this one, and that's going to be me. He had three. I was number three. Oh, he had three wives? Yep. His first one's the one that birthed the kids, but boy, was she a freaking loony bird. Oh, my God. What to do over here? I think I'm going to cut another piece of that green paper without running over Holly. Okay, we, we have a lot of suggestions from Olivia. Um, we're talking about the printing and of the letters. And the first is print some off in old font, then resize down. And if you want theme, you can have old wanted Western font. And then those chalk, white chalk lettering would show up on that dark page better. Wait, or, wait, stop. I have no ink for my printer. Oh, no ink. Let's not even go there. Okay, you can't go there. Can't go there. Okay, which green was it I no, had? No, was it that can't. one? No, no, no. That wasn't even green. Where did this come from? Is that it? It looks like it. I'm not drawing that fast. I got a page missing, right? Come on, get that. Kelly needs ink, too. Yeah, payday's Wednesday, so who knows? Fonts would really be good. It really, really, really would be. You know what? Next time I do this, I am going to stick everything with fabric tack and then watch project. Remember that idea. Because this is ridiculous. Right, one, two, three, four, five, eight. Five and five, eight. Right? All right. So we're going to go one, two. So five and three, eight. And I don't have enough room. Five and three eighths. One, two, three. And then what did I say for this length? Seven and a half. And what, seven and a half. Sorry guys, everything I'm doing has to dry, so that doesn't help. This was one of those start projects, but wait for them to dry days. Oh, 
hear the texture of that paper. Ooh, nice. Grilled watermelon. Whoa. Put that over there. So that sounds delicious. Say what? Grilled watermelon. Have you ever had grilled watermelon? I've heard of it. Never had it, but I have heard of it. I just found parcel. It must have been delivered this morning, and Grumpy forgot to tell me. <laughs> Surprise! <laughs> Surprise! Open it up. Tell us what you got. Yeah. What'd you, What'd you mail yourself? Oh, because of the salt, Barbara, and the, the high blood pressure? Yeah, any, any pain gets us all blood riled. Yeah. Oh, look at June's peeling. I know. Peeling. Perfect. What have you? What, uh, you playing with my podge? Yeah. So I was sticking the stuff down. Uh, I was supposed to get my mask today. What happened to Amazon? Let me see. Did they deliver it? I'm going to go just look. Hold on. I'm going to look at Amazon. Where'd you go, Amazon? Uh-huh. My orders. It was delivered today. Okay. Yeah. Let's go look. Let's go see if it's out there. Hold on. Okay, you go. I'm going. One, two, three. So that's three and a quarter. <gasps> no, wait. We want more than that. What? One, two, three. One, two, three. Three and five eighths. Let's just make it four by four. All right. Let's make it four by four. How simple could that get? It's got all sorts of bugs on it. What the heck? Die. What's she killing? Yeah. It's Because it was so <laughs> in my stew. I hoped it. You should see all the bugs that are on it. See, how long was it on my stew? That 4th of July party, I went to Heidi asked me if I wanted to take a watermelon home because they forgot to cut them. And they had two of them. And it's like, it'll just go waste yeah. what i should have done was brought it home cut it in half and gave half to my neighbor that's what i should have done i love watermelon but it goes bad before i can eat half of it every morning when i eat a lot of watermelon the numbers are lower oh i got my face shields oh yay there are more bugs in there too now? Uh, yep. Yeah. Let's see. Now is that for working? Is that your protection yep. engineer person you? I don't know if I'm allowed to wear it, but when I go back to work, it goes on like this. So when, it, when the little kids sneeze on you and they don't know to cover their hands, oh, yeah. cover their face, and there's a protective coating here. So use only as a face shield to prevent fluid splashing. Uh-huh. Yeah, so, well, you can wear over your, your goggles too when you're ready for, you know. How do I look? Upside down perfect. Isn't this great? Yeah. 
And somebody pour some water in there. <laughs> I'm not going to be able to breathe. Come between the face shield and the mask. I mean, I'm really not going to be able to breathe. But it's at least it's it's nice and comfortable. It doesn't hurt. You could actually take and cut like a couple inches off the bottom of it. Wow. Well, because I'm usually standing over them, so we don't want any of those little bugs. Uh, that, that's for chemical warfare right there. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Look at that. I feel very comfortable now. Let the little bug sneeze. Uh -huh. let, them sneeze let them sneeze, let them sneeze, let them sneeze. I just can't see. Uh, oh, Martha, you have private message of my parcel. Now June can wear one of her face shields and chat. Really? <laughs> uh, June, you know you can make those just saying. Uh, oh, God. All right. Well, I have five of them, so if I need more. But it's very cushiony, too. So you need to put the little cushiony. Look at how cool that is. See, cushions like that. And it's got this nice elastic so it doesn't hurt. So, ah. so if I have to go... And I think I could probably clean these too when I come home so I could wear them more than a couple of times because it's only a shield. So I do. Oh, wait. Oh, gosh, the camera came off. Trouble. Trouble in paradise here. Oh, With rip away sheets. Okay. All right, Olivia. Okay. Okay. I think this is good. All right, I'm feeling better. Bring on school. <laughs> and then... I also got a gallon of 99 point something alcohol coming to me so I can dilute it. I'm tired of trying to find alcohol in the stores around here. So I just bought a big bottle and now I'm going to dilute it so I have it. As they say, it's 70%. Man, bug killing. Oh, how fun was that? <coughs> okay, so now I can take that off my phone as one of the... Um, I've been ordering so much stuff that I don't know about you. I can't remember what I've ordered. So I have to put a list of things in my phone of what I ordered. Well, so what I do is I put a little tab up there and it says orders. I put all my orders into that little tab and I go in there and find out. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Oh, yeah. Oh, cool. <laughs> we got a mosquito in here, too, guys. So now we're going to be hunting. Well, yeah, I have to. I have it in a little note in my phone. Mm-hmm. Now we have mosquitoes. All I did was get one package. We have like four bugs came in with that one package. Should have left it till the morning. Well, that rummage sale we had over to Linda's, it had no floor in that tent thing. It had no windows except for the door that you can roll up. And had these little earwigs. I don't know what the heck they oh, are. Oh, I hate earwigs. I'm not sure if that's what they were. But anyway, I brought one box home with a pillow, and darned if I got one in the house and it was crawling on me. I tried to kill it, and I don't know what happened. I I don't know. But I, he's somewhere in the house. Oh, I don't know if I killed that mosquito or not. Well, get the glue out. Slap your fingers to him. He'll stick to you. I'm going to spray him with alcohol. He's going to bite me. He's, he's going to be clean when he bites me. Where are you, little bugger? I'm ready. 
Yeah, see, Joanne, I couldn't. It was a very long time, and they're still selling out alcohol, so I just gave up. I ordered it on Amazon, and it's coming sometime this week. It's 99%, and it's the isopropyl one or whatever you call it. I don't like any of the other smelling ones. The other smelling ones get me sick, and um, I'm just going to dilute it. It's a whole gallon. It's a little expensive. Not expensive, but, you know, it's like 30 or something dollars, I think. But I don't care because my son's constantly going to work. And we use this to spray everything because this is, you know, alcohol because I this is one smell I can handle. Yeah, you're supposed to have 99.9% .9 rubbing alcohol. Yep, that's the one I get, the rubbing alcohol. I don't like the other alcohols because the other alcohol I have, ethyl. I don't know which one it is that's also supposed to be good, but the smell of that gets me sick. Where'd that mosquito go? Come on, buddy. I'm going to clean you out. Don't be hiding. Did you go behind the computer? Hold on. No, you didn't go back there. If you went back there, we would get you. Where'd you go, buddy? Now we got a hunt for mosquitoes, and who can see which one? Hey. One and a half, so I want to go one and a quarter. Going under the desk. It's under the boat. All right. Oh, I call earwigs country roaches. Um, they're about yes. this big. And they got pincers in the front. Yeah. They're disgusting. They look like a cockroach, but I think they got little crawly legs. Ugh. Yeah. yeah. That's what we, I think they, it's an earwig. Hate earwigs. <coughs> I was infested by them a couple of years in a row and I realized what it was. Yeah, um, was that we would always throw, because everything is tiled down here, we would just throw wet towels or wet clothes down to get cleaned in the laundry. And because it was on the floor, they would find a little home for, them, for themselves. And then I also had, my, um, when I had my cat and my dog, I had to separate the cat food from the dog. So I'd have it in the laundry room, which is like a... Um, an opening of about that big so the cat could go in and out, but the door couldn't. So with all the water and the food. Ugh. But they're disgusting. And now we got rid of them, but we got them cricket spiders that jump all over the place. But now I have a, um, I know how to kill them now. I use the fly swatter so they can't jump at me. Where'd that mosquito go? All right, whatever. Okay. Maybe I killed it. Hit mosquitoes, hit flies. Maybe I did kill it. No, it's not here. Maybe it'll get in one of the spider webs. The spider web.
Oh, no, it was $45 for a gallon, 128 fluid ounces. And it's arriving on Wednesday. My skeleton is arriving by Friday. All these little things. Oh, how did I get on the YouTube? Anybody got one of them Tim Holtz trimmers? The tonic trimmers? How much are they? I got, but I forgot where I put. Oh, wait. A tonic trimmer? Yeah, I forgot where I put my. Yeah. Is that what it's called? I think so. Um, there's a couple of them. If you want the maxi guillotine, Simon says has it for $49. But if you just want the Tonic Studios eight and a half inches, I'm seeing it around $20. Yeah, eight inches. I, I mean, I'm not. Let's see. Oh, let's look at Amazon. $21, $22 prime. That ain't bad. I might have to order one of them. I don't know. I really don't need it, right? I really don't need it because I have a paper trimmer here. So did you know that Venus versus Mars person, Martha? Um, I've seen them before, but you know what? I really... Where's my ruler from Nikki? Oh, my ruler from Nikki. Oh, yeah, where is it? It's not in my caddy. Where did I put it? Yeah, she sold out of them in a hot mess. Which ones were those? The one with the zigzag on the sides that you could rip your paper and you get different little edges on it. Oh. Oh, yeah, those were gone. And I'll be darned if I remember where I put it. should be right somewhere in front of my face. Hey, Andy, could you bring down the sweeper and just bring it to the top of the stairs so I can sweep up around here? I got a lot of dead bugs. Okay, so... Thanks, buddy. What is there to put here? Okay. We'll come back. What did I do with all the pictures? Over here. Yeah, look at all these old, old pictures. These are mostly of Terry and the kids. Or the baby. Oh, yeah. Terry and Tony and Fred and Herbie. Little Herb, whichever you want to call him. Maxwell. I am looking for. I know he had a truck. Probably won't be. Oh, we even have Aunt Margaret and Uncle Steve in there. 
Monica, you want to put it on you? Because I'm really, I'm not doing anything. I really, everything I have to do is touch the dry. Well, um, oh, there is a picture of her with mom and dad. I do have yeah. one. <sighs> Thought there was a picture of his truck and camper. Probably threw it out. Now that ruler went fast. So you just ordered it from Amazon? Good, Barbara. a fish. Not sure what kind of fish. Looks like a salmon. <laughs> I'll show you a picture. <laughs> he was, I mean, yeah, Herb in his own mind, he was a comical guy inside, but it always, I don't know, some of his, hum his humor was right off the wall. But we went to Maine, we go into the store. It was a really cool little store. It was all trolls and stuff like that. And I said, well, you stand over next to this one. I'll take your picture. So what does he do? <laughs> <laughs> you know, put his finger up his nose. <laughs> finger up his nose. Oh. <laughs> but that was a pretty cool troll. Yeah, that was. They had some yeah. awesome shops up there. They really did. Three different kinds in the set. That's cool. Well, no, I didn't find the camper. There's a lot of stories with that camper, I guess. Or his truck and his topper. He'd take the kids camping and and they'd sleep in the back of the truck in their little sleeping bags. And got three set of what? <sighs> the, the ruler ripper. Mm. All right, so. I don't know what to do there. So I need some more black. Either way, I need some more black. I cleaned up my hands again because they're bothering me. Be right back. See that one I made? This one I think I want to make a little shorter. Four inches, four inches, three and a half inches. and then we got to make it, I wonder if that'll work, one and a quarter, no, it won't work, seven eighths, oh geez, that's a hard one to do. Because I can't cut it on that thing. a new blade on it. Them blades are oh, crap. Cut about four pieces of paper and it's dull already.
you get out of my way. Thank you, Joanne. This is just pretty much trying to get my flu. Oh, no. Dang it. Guess what I forgot to do? Ink, ink, ink. Look, glue everywhere. Olivia. Well, good night, woman. Oh, yeah. Let's see. She's five ahead. So I'll say 10, 11, 12, 1, 2, 3. Yeah. Early for her. Sweet dreams, girl, girl. <clears throat> she's almost an insomniac. Is she? I'm not sure if she's all the way, but she said, oh, yeah, go to bed. See you in a couple hours. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, really? Really? Okay. All right. Black paper. Oh, spot, spot. Don't need this one. <laughs> Got to keep that one. Let's get rid of all this paper. Let's move that over to here. Move that in there. You don't like thinking? I like the sound of it. The ch -ch 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 -ch. I'm not sure. Yeah. I like ch -ch. yeah, I like the sound of thinking. I don't know if I'd like to do it because. Yeah. That Mod Podge just does not want to come off, and then I got ink on top of it, so it's just. When in doubt, get out the acetone. Okay, so now we got to figure out. I really don't have to figure out because I can't figure out what I want to do. So. Yeah, maybe Wednesday I will go pick up some ink. For your printer? I know there would be a. Yeah, you know, like for taking notes down, I know there'd be some cool, like, Western type uh -huh. lined material that would be kind of cool. Um, because I'm pretty sure the wedding paper that I got probably ain't going to work. Ugh. So, what I could just say is, maybe I'm done with this for the moment. And then this whole thing is going to get glued in this way. So, we got to make a, a magnet thing. I want a magnet on here. So, we got to make a, like, a buckle sleeve. How about if we do it with green? Wow, I use this glove that happens to be with black and some of that on it. That way, I don't get my hands stuck. Green and black. I think we ought to do it with black. Okay, so 
We got a piece of paper. Let's see. If I can find a thinner one. And there's quite a thin one right there. Make like a little belly band. So if I cut it in half. Really not. My son leaves his, his gloves that he has to wear sometimes in his clothes. And I've been washing gloves now. So every time I wash a pair, I keep it. Or a glove. Especially. I just don't want to wash my hands again with the Mod Podge because it's getting really annoying. But if you don't press this down when it's still sort of soft, you'll never get it to go down when the Mod Podge really dries. So I just don't feel like getting dirty again. I'm going to take and cut this off, say right there. All right, so that's going to go there. Nice and snug, too. Is that where I want it? Should I have it right there? Okay. Thank you, Bone. Mark, I have a bag full of pictures of my parents when they were young. I'm thinking about making an album for my ne nephew. <laughs> thinking about LOL, you're, you're inspiring me. Oh, good deal, hold back. And guess what? You could just put a folding table in front of you and do it right in your chair. <laughs> Don't tell me all those shits up the stairs neither. Uh -oh. <laughs> in the attic. <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> keywords. Yeah, keywords. <laughs> I, love that. I love that, Christine. Keywords. Thinking about it. <laughs> Oh, shoot. Well, you know, everybody, ever you, you see everybody make them on the internet, but they never put pictures in them. They never what? They're always making mini albums, but they never put real pictures in them. I know. So this is like, what, the first you've ever seen on YouTube? <laughs> Strike one up for Martha. Right, wait, we'll, we'll put two on that one. Okay. I have to. Okay, so. Go ahead. Whatever you're saying, I'm thinking. I had to sell bean bags yesterday for the corn. Is that for that corn game? Corn pone game? And I was, corn hole. Uh, corn corn hole. Hole. Okay. Corn hole. And I was pushing myself up on the table and my arm gave way and I hit my arm on the sewing table now bruised all up my arm okay seriously I am gonna give you bubble wrap I am sending you bubble wrap you're gonna have to wrap yourself in it in the morning arms legs head <sighs> Does it hurt or is it just me? Yeah, you know, they're, they're, if there ain't no pain and gain in crafting, then it ain't made right. So I'm going to sit here and paint because i got to waste time. So I'm going to take my time and just paint this. Just so that I'm doing something. 
Barbara, I, you know, <sighs> yes, it's sore. Oh, gosh, Barbara. I'm sure you bruised all up and down your arm, too. Martha, you, do you find that you bruise worse now because of blood thinners? Yes. Oh, hell yes. Yeah. Such a, I don't know. I had just put and loading a box in for a lady at the garage sale into her car. I had bruises on my arm and one on my belly just from the corner of the box. Really? Wow. Yeah. You bruise real easy, and it only takes a little. You could do a frog pinch, and you got a black one. Yeah. Okay, so we need. There's my three hours. I was thinking about going for three hours, so it might be Are we on very soon. Hours? We might be done with this page after I get this done. Okay. So what do I? What am I looking for? I want. Double-sided tape. That's what I want. A piece of this stuff. That's what I'm looking for. One. Come on. Two. Okay, so we're going to put that right there in the middle. There for a minute. Put that on there nice and good. Yeah, my dad, um, he went in to go get blood or yeah. give blood. I, I don't remember. It was, you know, he'd have to go in like Tuesday, have a blood draw. And then go in Friday and have the blood taken, take blood. Mm -hmm. And they screwed up his arm trying to get the darn IV in. And his, his whole arm from here all the way up to his hand was all black and blue. It's like, oh, my God. I told him, I said, keep rubbing it. Make that blood move. Yeah. And every time I'd say something, he'd sit there and rub it. And. And it finally started to go away. Christine says, you laugh. I got three tables for paper crafting, none in front of my chair. Yours is turning out so nice, so now maybe she won't do it. <laughs> oh. Okay, so Christine. I'm going to do this piece on first. Where do I want it? Right here out of work. I'm um, surely saying that you do have low iron, Martha. No. Because she's saying her husband is on thin and he's not bruising that easy. Maybe you're not smacking him hard enough. <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't know why I'm saying these things. I'm getting punchy. It's 10 o'clock. I'm getting punchy. Okay. Oh. And I'm going to go right in the middle. In the front of the camera. Well, let's make sure we got them together. Oh, these magnets are so dang strong. Okay. There we go. Oh, right in the middle of there. Use a silver spoon. I'm going to put a piece here somewhere. Hopefully we can get it in the right spot. I guess you need to use a silver spoon to massage your area that you got the bruise in. They say a cold spoon. A cold spoon, and you massage where your bruise is. Oh. Yes, I have heard of that. Okay. Oh, 
looks pretty good to me. So now, do blood uh, thinners make you gain weight? Because you can only have a certain amount, like we only have a certain amount of blood in our system, right? I don't know how many quarts it is. But if it's thinned out, where does the rest of the blood go? That's what we were trying to figure out with Dad. Couldn't figure out where it was going. But somehow his body was not making and producing the red blood. Okay, now let's hopefully we didn't glue these two together. Oh, perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay, so let's see. We got some scrap right here. This probably is not big enough. Oh, no, that is not big enough. So we need... So let's, let's do one and a half. A one and a half inch strip. Ow! No, kidding. I'm going to say I cut my finger off. Oh, geez. No, my <laughs> okay, Barbara said, you need to get the doctor to check your levels, Martha. Might be too high. They have to adjust it sometimes. Adjust what? I guess how much blood thinner you're taking? I'm telling you, one aspirin a day. Oh, that's it? As far as I know. I got to think I'm taking a blood pressure pill. Well, that might do it because don't they have to thin your blood for blood pressure? I don't know. If it gets Other too that, high. I feel pretty darn good most of the time. If it gets too high, you could bleed out. Not good. We don't want that. Oh, gosh. We don't want that. Come on. Give me some glue. Give me some glue. All right. Hold it under. Yeah, I thought she was, yeah. She's on high blood pressure medicine. Doesn't that thin your blood, though? I don't know what that does, really. I, I don't know, because I'm not on it, thank goodness. Okay, so that means I got sticky right there. I still got to put something inside there, right? I could do another... Think, 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 think. I could just do a green. One and a half. One and a half. Don't even have to size it down. Yay. And these papers from that 12 by 12 do have a white core. You do? Yep. So you really got to ink it. All right. Let's glue that on. Right there. 
All right, we're gonna take this one. Oh, okay. Billy takes an aspirin and high blood pressure meds every day, and he don't bruise. You gotta talk to your doctor, Martha. Oh, he's lucky. Um, my dad bruised. It just depends on the person, I suppose. And Christine says, at least the white core tells is a reminder that you have to think it. Uh-huh, uh-huh, yeah, uh-huh. Who said that? Uh-huh. That was Christine. <laughs> that was Hoback. Uh-huh, uh-huh. And you telling me something there, Hoback? And Shirley's husband is on Coumadin. And Barbara would like to know if you're on heart meds. Um, I have Berlinta. The Berlinta is supposed to help with the stents. Um, I'm also on cholesterol. Them are actually the four pills I take. So I take um, aspirin, cholesterol, high blood pressure, Berlinta. And I'm out of Belinda. And I took the last pill yesterday morning. I, I have them on the internet, so I told them I was ready for my order. This is your order has expired. But what I like about this company through the mail is that they will get a hold of my doctor for my refills. Oh. I don't have to do a damn thing unless they call me up and say, "Hey, it's time for a you know checkup or whatever." So yeah, I don't have to do a damn thing. Delivered right to my front door. All right, now it seems like we should have something right here, right? Maybe, maybe, I don't know. See, that's something we could save for another day, too. But. I'll do a little pine cone or something. I've still got to find the pine cones I found in the yard. <laughs> Where did you put them? I don't know. Oh, boy. They're in one of the drawers or somewhere. They're, they're, they're not far, I believe. Okay, so let's see what this looks like from the camera. Oh. It's going to go in the book. Oh, wait. Which end is open? This end is open, so that's going to go that way. This is going to go on top of this. Barely. Very barely. Right, so that's the page. The brown one's going to be the page. So, when you open it up, it's going to look like that. So, you got to open it up. Oh, dear. i got to have something in there. Let's cut another piece. What was it? Inch and a half? Yep, inch and a half. You get that corrected before we go any further. And how far do we need it? It's much better colored black. Can you tell the design right now? You gotta wait for the paint to dry. And then you'll be able to tell the design. Alright. So I edged it. Let's edge this one. Make sure we do it right. What color are you using to edge? Eh? What color are you, what color are you using to edge? Vintage, vintage photo. I love that color. Yeah, I could have went a little browner. It's 
it's more kind of more rustier more of a rust color I could have went browner There, that's done. Yeah, that's all I'm really doing is trying to get paint and all the. I'm having the, the Walking Dead <laughs> withdrawal. Mm -hmm. I'm going to get in there one or two uh, episodes or so. But I'm on the seventh season, almost the eighth season, so. Okay, so okay, wait a minute. There we fixed it. So you open it up, you go and turn it sideways, and you got cute little old herb. His little baby butt. Aw. We can't see the sides, Martha. We can only see the center. <gasps> Aw. His car. I How think that looks pretty darn. So we got to figure out what to put down in these spots, but that can be another day. Okay. There. There's one side of one page. Nice. Yay. Barbara's still giving you... Barbara's very concerned, as we all are, but she's... She says, you're not supposed to eat greens when I'm blood thinners. We'll make blood thin thinner. No, vitamin K, it thickens blood. And Joanne says, I really, really like it, Martha. She oh, you're reading. Thank yeah. you, Joanne. So, you, Barbara. Yeah, that looks pretty darn good. That is adorable. He's a cute kid. I hope that's her. I hope it wasn't Terry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> oh, that's oh, look at the socks. I, it's it's yeah, somebody. It's, it's okay. too old of a photo for it to be Terry's daughter. It's somebody. <laughs> yeah, it looks pretty cool. Shirley says cauliflower has vitamin K. Oh, there's Teresa Lily. Hi, Teresa. Hey, Teresa. And Rachel is saying hi, Rachel. Hi, the hospital bed. Hi, Rachel. Oh, good for you. Yay. How are you feeling, Rachel? You going to be able to go home pretty soon or what? You've been in there a couple days. Okay, let's see. Let's clean some of this freaking mess up. Um, put all the die cuts away before I lose any of them. So, you've been very, what do you call that? You've gotten a lot of things uh, constructive. I've gotten Mod Podge on my hands three times. So, <laughs> we're doing good. Oh. All right, there's them. I'll set them right there. So, I do believe <clears throat> that I did this one correctly. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't forget the magnets, and I didn't forget this. I didn't forget that. So. <laughs> The, the die in the edges. Uh, Rachel's just done walking. Oh, good, Rachel. You were out walking? Excellent. Are they feeding you nice? Hospital food. Good. Yeah, I have a hernia surgery. They don't want you to pop that baby open, though. <laughs> Was that what it was? I didn't know what it was. Oh, she God. She had uh, hernia and <sighs> wasn't it kidney? Yeah, hernia and kidney, I think it was. Oh, my gosh. What that? Yeah. 
hate hospitals. My God, I love this page. You see it, Teresa Lily? The food sucks. Okay, I'm sorry. And she said, yes, kidney. Yeah. She and said food sucked. Yeah. Sucked. Yeah, the food is never really that good. <sighs> yeah, well, they probably got you on a heck of a good bland diet. I'm sure that kidney's working right. Yeah, and they don't want you to pop. They don't want you to strain, so they don't want you to pop your um, hernia stitches. So it's probably going to be bland food. Yeah, that looks pretty good so far. I'm going to find a little, take one of them little things and put here or something. Mm -hmm. But yeah. I liked it so far. That's beautiful. That's so that's page one, right? Yeah, this is gonna this is the front page, the first page you look at. Okay. You gotta start out as a baby if it's gonna be his life story. That's right. And so that's which way are you gonna take that one in? The top of the box. The way you're looking at it. Okay. They might either put dad or herb here. I'm going to put his name right there. Okay. And then you have all that pretty ephemera and stuff. And all those other things, right? Yeah, a lot of them embellishments, if I know I'm not. I like, to, you know, I like to wait until like the end and then yeah. go back through and put embellishments in. I think that's a great idea. But if I know I want to use something right there, I will use it. Right. And I like to embellish at the end. And that bugger just fits on that paper. So that's a good thing. Yep. First page. Done. Done. Yes. Done. Kind of done. Kind of done. Kind of, kind of, kind of, kind of, kind of done. Yep, yep, yep. You can yep. eat anything you want. Well, does anybody bring you up like a, you know, one of your favorite little fast foods or anything? Can you eat that stuff yet? I'd be telling everybody, if you're coming to visit, bring me food. Oh, a wooden button? That would be pretty. I got wooden buttons. Got more paint on my paintbrush. Nothing like. I didn't have a lock of hair or one of his little baby teeth or. Oh my god. Um. My mom saved my little baby teeth. I don't know where in the heck I put them at the moment. Being smart, I'd put it in my old little memory box. A wooden button. Where in the heck did I put all the wood shit? A wooden button. Well, utilizing the entire... Well, I got, I got the ephemeras. I mean, you know, we could go back through that bag again. And actually, I like that one little leaf that's right here. See, that just looks too darn fake. It just... You know what? That's... Yeah, brown up those edges. Yep. Too much white. Yep. Okay. I'm going to be seeing white spots. Yeah, that definitely made a little difference, didn't it? Color in that one little spot there.
No visitors. Rachel's not allowed visitors. Oh, yeah. Hospital virus. Oh, crap. Let's see what big piece would go on there. I don't know. How's that look? I can't tell. It looks shabby. Don't like it. You don't like it? Not that. No. Maybe a wooden button might be it. I think I put all my wood for. No, not that color. Oh, that might look very interesting. Oh. That looks kind of like, put it this way. That's quite interesting. Where's the other ones? Right here. God. Ugh. How about this brown one? I really like the red. It really makes that bugger pop, don't it? See, I've got only two, two red ones of them. I got three of these. How about a green? I like the red. Kind of like I see dead people. Uh, what? Red is hood. Well, in the movie, I see dead people, red, they had the red color throughout the whole thing. Now I gotta find another little baggie. Oh, found a baggie. Let's find one that's easier to get into. Yeah, there we go. So I painted the paintbrush. I, I like that. What do y'all think? Kind of makes it pop out. Yeah. What does everybody think about the red button? Christine already said red is good. Yeah, I like the red one. Yes, the red. Rachel, Barbara says good. We got a bunch of goods. Joanne, okay. red is good. That's what I'm going to use right there, is that little red one. And then what's the best thing to glue it on with? Oh, wait, we have AGT. Teresa says <laughs> red is good. So red it is. Right. Where's the magnet? So now I have to wash my right hands. Again, I'm going for the record of how many times I can wash my hands today. Let's see this myself. we got to turn it sideways a little bit. I'm seeing white spots already. Oh, all right. Well, you knew you're going to have to paint it at least twice. Christine's saying you should do red accents all throughout. Well, I got some of the, just, hey, yeah. We're going to have all them accents throughout, all them colors. But with this, that red just popped. Poppy. Which I could, with my lettering, put red dad. Ooh, that's an interesting idea. But you got to give it that barnyard red, not that like bright red. Isn't that more like a barnyard red? Yeah, kind of. I don't think I have a barn. I don't really have any hardly reds. So barnyard red. You know, like that. Well, maybe you could just put the um, vintage photo over it just to make it a little browner. Oh, did something bite me? I'm feeling bad. Did that little mosquito? If I was smart, I'd put one of these in my pocket and go to the store and try to find a color to match it. Uh-huh. I think that mosquito bit me. Well, he's going to die from all the nicotine gum. So you're dead, mosquito. 
just want you to know if I find you, I'll spray you with alcohol. Why don't you bite me? I've been, I've been looking for you, you little creep. You little creep? It was a sneaky bite. Okay. Let's get this back in there before it. There we go. There we go. Done with the glue. Done with this. Piece of paper. Oh, thank you, Teresa. Check my paints. The mosquitoes in my paints. Oh, no, you're talking to Martha. Okay, sorry. As far as reds, like I said, the only reds I've got, like, holiday red, glitter red. I don't think I have any. But red. maybe, okay, you could just add brown. Do you have brown? You can add brown to the red. That'll make yeah, it you can always. You can always mix colors. That's yeah. True. You can add brown. So and then just, where is that? Oh, did I see something flying? I don't know what I would paint with it. little creep. I probably got that color in paper. I'm pretty sure I probably got that color in paper. Cranberry. Or you could tea stain red paper. Yeah, let's see your canvas. Where's your canvas? This is it. So as far as I got. I glued everything down. Oh, you're painting over it? Yeah. Yep. It's only for texture. Okay. I got gotcha. you. And once it dries and it's not shiny, you'll see you'll see the ribbon more. Come on. So thank you, Barbara. Everything has got to dry. I have about five things all drying. I'm still looking for that little crummy mosquito. And that's all we've done. Oh, I, I keep the bright saying, aqua applique and it came out, out softer and more vintage in color. Yeah. Oh. Tea stain just adds a little bit of depth. Yeah. So when you tea stain, Joanne, because I tried a tea stain and I didn't. How many like tea bags do you put into a cup? Yeah, only one tea bag's all you need. Well, it's been a long time since I've tea stained, and I mean, I did it years ago on fabric and fabric takes it differently than paper unless you want it really dark then you put two or three i couldn't get my paper to or is it just in. how long you leave it in there i can get my tea pretty dark before i add it on add it into my gallon jug nope oh. um I take two and I dunk it and dunk it, you know, and let it sit, and it gets pretty darn dark. So I guess it just depends on how long you leave your stuff in there to how dark you want it. Yeah. Well, I was trying to tea stain paper, and it wasn't working so good, but we got it to work. I can dye fabric better than I can dye paper because, you know, like I said, I don't do paper that often. But... And so anyway, I think we're going to call it an evening. Oh. So that's what, four hours? We were on here for four hours? I went eight hours last time, right? I was going to check it before I got on here, too. Eight, uh, Twelve, so we still got another eight hours. But I almost thought about doing the stream lab that way, you know, and it's like, no, I want to bring June in. Come on, it's more fun with two. What fun with well, you? I can't join you on Streamlab. Streamlab? Nope. 
But what that's about, free. You get free hours on that. What about uh, Facebook Live? You can't never read the damn. No, I hate Facebook. Mm -mm. You can never see who's. You, it's the chat. In the chat, most of the times you can't see the chat. And if you do see the chat, people are typing. You have no idea who it is they're talking. Okay. Because I tried that one night. And Ruby just went the other day and did one Sunday. And she says she couldn't see chat. She couldn't. I don't like Facebook. I don't know. It just, I don't know. Okay. That's one of them that you have to have two devices in order to see both of them, or I don't know. Yeah, I can. Yeah, you have to. And then if nobody can be in with you, see that artist guy did Facebook. Um, but the thing was, he had his wife right next to him when she was reading the comments on her phone. So I guess you need to run your phone and your computer at the same time. The chat is horrible. Yes, it is. Uh, yeah, that's what I said. No, I don't do Facebook. I tried it once, and who oh, Vic, Vic was in there, and... Um, somebody else and i seen them chat and i but i didn't it didn't say it just said facebook user it didn't say oh. who or whatever oh gosh yeah so that's i don't like okay. the facebook no that's a pain in the butt okay and then stream lab but nobody else can be in with you no not unless i do a facebook facebook chat then you guys can have your voices in here Oh, God. Yeah. No faces, just voices. You know, nah, 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 nah. Okay. <laughs> All right. Two minutes to go for the fourth hour. So we got the first page done. Excellent. Well, you better, you better. Up, but it's a start. It's getting my brain working and all that good stuff. I want to do some really cool little pages and yeah so thank you all okay i will miss lily um thank you all for coming and we'll see you i'll probably go maybe one night thursday friday i, I might go live i don't know we just see i how might just come in here and work on a page without nobody <laughs> get my brain to work <laughs> but this one turned out pretty cool so and thank you, Hoback, for the 12 by 12 papers that are on the floor. Oh, I think oh, that color, that color looks pretty darn good in here. No, that, that's going to be me upside down again. I can't figure out how to get me right sideways. Forget it. Okay. All right. Let's go upside down. <laughs> Sorry, I can't figure it out. Hello. Oh, my hair dried. That's nice. I took a shower. Oh, you know what mm. <laughs> so, anyway. all right. Um, good night, everyone. I'm gonna good night, everybody. Bye. Let's go down so we don't. There's my dirty pants. All right. So, I'm going out. Right. I gotta go out. You got to leave studio. I have to. Okay. Where is that? Down ah, in the there it is. There it is. Okay. We're getting it together. All right. Good night. Bye, everybody. Bye, everybody. I got to figure out how to get me out of it. And broadcast. <laughs>